everybody, my name is Emily and thank you for watching Misfit Hippies. So I've been gone for a little bit. I've been doing shows and selling some of the necklaces and random stuff that I've been making. And I always tell people like, hey, go check out my YouTube video if you want to like see the animal that helped make this shed. And I realized I don't have any videos of Mustachio and he helps me quite a bit. So, I'd like to introduce you to Mustachio. He is our boa constrictor. We believe he is a Central American boa constrictor. Um, he was, we got him in a weird way. I don't want to say he was a rescue, but he wasn't not. So some backstory, we had three crested geckos at one point. They were all rescues and one of them we were really attached to and the other two we got together and we were less attached to because I knew eventually we were going to probably be rehoming them. And so we rehomed them and went to get upgrade the gecko's tank that we still had. And we went to this pet store to buy a crusted gecko tank. And I want to say this carefully. I will not say the pet store's name, however, uh, they saw a lot of invertebrates there and a lot of reptiles. I've got some of my inverts from there in the past, and I, and they're, they're in good condition. However, what I've noticed is they tend to get inverts when they're smaller, and reptiles go for various sizes there um and we were we were getting the tank and I saw a boa constrictor there and it was a big boa it was like a common boa constrictor and I can't tell you exactly how big they got but she was maxed out I know that much and she'll play a part later on in the story <laughs> but I noticed her tank was so small she was crammed in there, like had to be spiraled crammed in there, like she would not be able to stretch out if she wanted to. And from her face rubbing on the glass, I can only assume that's what it's from. Her mouth was so raw and scabbed and it was bad. I felt so bad. Like I told Kenny, like, we need to do something. And as much as we wanted to, we live in a tiny house and that snake would need a tank like probably the size of one of our bedrooms. We have a tiny house. And so realistically we couldn't and I felt so bad leaving her behind, but I also knew I couldn't care for her. And so we get the gecko's enclosure home and everything and there's cardboard on the top of it and there's cardboard on the bottom of it and then two like thick plastic, ooh, bye. Plastic, ooh, bye two thick plastic things that like secured the cardboard on and I was cutting those off and I lifted up the tank and in the bottom part of the cardboard like it came off and he just fell on the ground like he just fell on the ground he was in that tank and I had a process and I really like I love snakes but I didn't know he was a boa right off the bat and I was like Kenny Kenny snake 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 or he said it to me I don't know it all happened so fast but he was like that's a baby boa constrictor and I'm just like how can you tell how do you know and he's like head shape pattern everything that's a baby boa and so I got on a bunch of boa constrictor Facebook pages my now hear me out my first thought was I need to bring this baby boa back there and I was also confused because I'm like, snakes have eggs. Like, wouldn't they have seen the clutch of eggs in there? And I had all these thoughts going through my mind, so I started the Googling, you know. And I found out that boa constrictors have live births. And they can have, like, upwards of, I believe it was, like, 60. So, like, it dawned on me. There might be, like, 60 loose babies in there because the mom's tank or enclosure had, like, these vents on the back of them. Easy. Could have, like, easily slipped. My dog is ruining the show. 
Now I don't even remember where I was. Anywho, so it dawned on me that she probably had like 60 babies up in the store. So like I needed to let them know there was probably 60 babies up in that store. But at the same time, I didn't want to tell them like, hey, I have one. Just, just two seconds, I forgot to mention here that Kenny and I had decided to keep him because of the conditions that his mom was kept in. Alright, continue. Because they're probably gonna want to know. And I don't lie. Guys, I don't lie. I don't freaking lie. But at this point in time, I was like, I gotta tell him. But I'm not giving the snake back. And it, in my... I'm just like, am I stealing? Am I a felon? But my the tank was in the back seat next to my son the entire time, who was like two. And he was ripping on that tank thing, like he was playing with it, beating it up. He could have bitten him so easily and both me and my husband got bit. And like, the thing is, everybody was like, he's so lucky that he went to you because like, for instance, my dad, if he wanted to go get some fish tank, you know, wanted some goldfish, whatever he wanted. And he went in there and got a 10 or 20 gallon and that fell out of there, my dad would have chopped it in half. I've seen my dad chop snakes in freaking half, and he would do it. He doesn't do that anymore. He would call me, I'm sure, right, Dad? So I lied. I called, and I freaking lied. I, I, uh, he, I told them, like, hey, man, ooh, we bought a tank there earlier. And uh, there was just a dead boa constrictor underneath it, smashed like dead, dead, dead. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. I literally have not gone there since, which is probably a good thing um, because last I've heard that mom is still there. And mind you, it's been a year since I've had him. And that hurts my stomach to think about. That's a whole nother freaking story. That's a whole nother situation in itself. When he first fell onto the ground, we both think that he was probably within a couple weeks, like he had had his first shed, don't know if he'd ever eaten ever, I don't think he had, um, and he was super wrinkly, like he was dehydrated, he, ooh, uh, if I can find pictures, I will post them here, but he was just not very cute at first, and I think of the pictures that I probably do have of him, if I do, he was in a bug catcher that was like dirty as heck around the edges, so you couldn't even see it very well. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll post some pictures of when we first got him and you know and how he became here. And he's actually like I thought when my husband was saying about a constrictor, I thought they just got big immediately, like <laughs> baby and but I didn't realize how slow growing they are. And we actually think that, because I, I joined some boa constrictor Facebook groups, and I'm pretty confident that his mom is a common boa constrictor. Like, she was labeled as a red tail boa, but uh, we're pretty sure now that she is a common boa. So she's big, but we think his dad is a Central American boa. And the males only get, I think it was like five and a half feet. Like, they don't get that big. Like, that might sound big, but it's not. It's really not. I promise it's not big. Um, considering I thought he was going to get a lot bigger. Uh, but yeah, he's a really good eater. He actually, when he first came to us, I'll admit, I'm kind of dumb sometimes. And when I get excited about things, I don't think. And there was a whole freaking boa constrictor on my floor so I wasn't thinking and we had just went from not having a boa constrictor to having a boa constrictor so I certainly was not thinking so I sent him in a tank by my ball python like in a tank underneath it like and <laughs> shorty came with mites a lot of mites a lot and a lot and a lot of mites, which is something I never dealt with with my snake. And when I say they were bad, you got fleas. Mites are a whole different thing. And no, they won't like eat your blood and suck on you like a flea mite. But these things were so hard to get rid of. I used this uh, medication that I think we probably got on Amazon or something. 
we had to be really careful because it was supposed to be for adult snakes and you didn't want to overdose them because he's just a wee little noodle and where where's your head at dude so we got some medication for him and we tried it for weeks and it just was not getting any better actually it was more like months um and it wasn't getting better I had heard of Dawn dish soap and we had tried that a couple times but I swear like it would suffocate them but they they just never left they got suffocated and revived like they would just come back and multiply by the freaking dozen it felt like so we soaked them in the Dawn dish soap bath for a little while and I used a little baby toothbrush and oh so very gently wiped them off and I shoot you not we haven't had a problem since we actually um we have his enclosure set up bioactive now and I did not know that you can add okay, well obviously I knew springtails go in bioactive enclosures but springtails can also eat snake mites what what so you know like when you got a garden and you buy ladybugs because it eats the aphids but then they say that it don't work because they fly away I've never tried it that's sorry but yeah um haven't had to deal with mites in a hot minute I should also mention he was really bitey when we first got him man he was biting all over the place and it didn't hurt I needed for some reason to know what it felt like to be bit by a snake and I was too scared to actually like put my hand in to get bit by a snake but he was very bitey one day and my husband I was like honey can you just put my hand in the box and so he put my hand in there I got bit and it did not hurt even a little bit so and now we handle him quite a bit. Like, I would rather him bite me at this size than, you know, five foot long. You know, I'm sure that wouldn't feel great. But <laughs> I just really wanted to introduce him because I talk about him all the time, but I have no reference video. Precious, I swear to freaking God, I will boot ya. Trashy. We're not, we're not doing this. Animals of this household, can I not just get through one freaking video? Thank you. Yeah, so I'm going to wrap it up. It wasn't going to be a long video today, and I'm sorry that I'm not giving y'all the educational factors that I'm sure you clicked on for, but I just wanted to introduce him and show you all what he looks like. He's actually, he's gorgeous. I'm going to take some videos, and I'll show you some closer-ups because I'm sure you're not seeing Jack squat from where you're sitting, so... Yeah. Oh, my lanta. That's what I mean. I can't. Have you posted a video recently? No. Why not? Because my dog and my cat won't let me. That's why. That's about it for today. Um. Hi. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. Until next time. Bye.